Is color mixing something that scares and confuses you? Well, you're not alone. Most beginner artists face this challenge in the beginning of their journey. They end up with really muddy looking colors when they mix their colors and they don't really know how to fix it. Well, in today's video, I'm going to help you out with just that. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Shivani and I'm an artist and entrepreneur based in the sunny city of Chennai in the south of India. Through my YouTube channel, I teach you how to improve your skills as a gouache artist and as a creative business owner. So if those are topics that interest you, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. It'll mean the world to me and you'll be able to keep updated with all of my newest content every single week. So let's talk about color. If you know me at all or if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that color is one of my favorite topics in the universe. I am such a geek when it comes to color mixing and it just genuinely excites me. The moment I I discovered the possibilities with just a limited range of colors in my palette I was blown away I just there was no going back and from then I didn't really feel like buying every single tube of color which is how I felt before but that was because I didn't know how to mix colors of my own so in today's video I'm just going to take you through these color charts that I made recently if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that I've posted about these there in the past about a couple of months ago I sat down with every single tube of gouache that I own and I created mixes of every color with every other color which is what I'm going to show you in this video. I'll tell you how I created these charts and also a few key observations that I made when I created them. So let's just jump straight into it. So this is the standard color wheel that we're all familiar with. Three primary colors and the three secondary colors with these being warm colors and these being cool colors. But when I created color charts for myself because I had been learning a lot lot more about color I decided to take it one step further actually maybe not one step further maybe like five steps further but I went super complex with this not really complex when you understand the basics of it but it does look a lot more complex I'll give you that much but yeah I created this color wheel where I have two shades of every primary color and I'll be explaining the concept of warm and cool primaries which is what I use to create this in a lot more detail in my next video so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss that one. Aside from this I decided to create mixing charts using every single color that I own and here's what I created. So these are basically every color mixed into every other color that I own. So in this particular page, you see a bunch of different colors mixed with ivory black and I did a gradation. Now I've similarly done that with every other color that I own as well. So here I continued with ivory black, then I went into permanent white and I made sure I didn't repeat the same combination multiple times. This ended up being a really interesting activity for me to get to know my colors a lot better and also to understand various different combinations that were possible using the colors that I own. And like I said, I own 16 different shades of gouache. When a color is very similar to another color, I just created one single swatch for them. So this is Spectrum Red with Brilliant Red Violet because they're both shades of red. I knew that I wasn't going to get a major gradation between them, so I just created one swatch. There's a way, by the way, for you to all get access to these charts which I've created because a lot of work went into them and I know that it's very time consuming and tough for everyone to create charts like this of your own. So I'm giving you access to mine and stick around to the end of the video for more info on that. When you create charts like this for yourself, you will probably make a bunch of different observations which become really helpful in your art practice. For example, one of the things that I found was that my turquoise blue and my cypress green, which are two different tubes of paint that I own, were creating very similar mixes in most of the cases. So if you see here as well, when they mix with spectrum red, they're creating very similar mixes. So I looked into that and I realized that both of these colors use the exact same pigments. The only difference I think is in the ratios of the pigments used. So this one's a bit more blue and this one's a bit more green. But aside from that, they create very similar mixes, which told me that 
in the future i probably don't need to own both of these tubes if i own one of them it's probably more than sufficient because like i said everywhere they're creating very similar mixes it almost looks like the exact same color and that's because they have the same pigments and therefore the pigments are interacting with the other color in the same way Another thing I found was that brilliant red violet while it's a very very bright color once it's mixed with earth tones like burnt umber or yellow ochre it gives you some very beautiful to toned down shades of red and each one combines in a very different way this is a sort of magenta kind of color and here it's forming these very peachy pink colors and it's so much more toned down the minute you use it with an earth tone Another observation was that turquoise blue or even cypress green um combined with yellow ochre to form some really pretty foresty um greens. I really love these colors and I could see myself using this very easily in some illustrations and unless I had created these charts for myself I really would not have thought of combining these two colors to form a green. and another combination which is something i've spoken about a lot in my previous videos as well is that yellow and black combine to form really nice greens now the reason for that is ivory black has a bit of a blue undertone which you can't really see with the naked eye but because of the presence of that blue undertone it reacts with primary yellow to create greenish shades and that's again very interesting and these are very nice greens as well Aside from this I also created complementary mixing charts to see how complementary colors interact with each other and what's possible with them. In case you'd like to create charts like this for yourself to better understand your own pigments, I'd highly recommend doing it. It's always a great practice. And like I said, there's a way to get access to my charts as well which I'll tell you all about at the end of this video. So right now I'm going to create an example chart for you to understand how you can create charts like this of your own. So I'm going to use cypress green. So we'll start by putting down our first color as is on one side of the chart. And by the way if you want to see my review of this gouache air tight palette and see how I set it up I recently created a video about that I'm linking to it up here in case you want to check it out. So let's mix this with brilliant red violet. I think that's an interesting and unlikely combination so let's see what happens. So again I'm taking the color as is and I'm going to put it on the other side of this. Now let's start gradually moving from one of the colors to the other. I'll start with cypress green and I'm going to just take a bit of this and add it in. You want to do this gradually but also not too gradually such that you suddenly have a jump happening towards the end of it which is a mistake I made when I did some practice ones for this. So I made sure when I did the final charts I didn't make that mistake. So now you can really see the color starting to change. Now starting to get a really nice blue violet sort of color. At this point because we're moving to the other side of the chart you want to start transitioning to more of the brilliant red violet. This is a really vibrant purple. When you make mixing charts like these, you find that you end up with the most interesting color combinations that you may not have thought would give you such results. You can imagine just how much time it took me to create all of these charts. which is why i wanted to give you access to my charts so that if you're strapped for time and if you're a busy working professional who has like art as your side hustle or something like that you don't need to spend as much time as i did you can get access to them and you can learn all of the concepts of color mixing from me 
Okay, so that's a great example of one of the transitions and we've done it from cypress green to brilliant red violet and as you can see we came up with some beautiful violets over here which I think I would definitely use in my illustrations. Color mixing charts like these can be so helpful to have handy because they're so useful to refer to when you want to paint. You can't possibly remember in your head every single combination that's possible with your colors so it's always useful to have them on your desk and refer to them when you want to mix a particular color. Sometimes you might intuitively think that two colors are going to mix a certain way but when you refer to your charts you'll realize that there's a better way to achieve the color that you're after. But at the same time, I know how time consuming it can be to create charts like these. I myself, even though I do art full time, I spent quite a lot of time creating these charts and really understanding them. I wanted to simplify that process for all of you and I kept racking my brains on how I could do that for you. That's why I'm so excited to announce today that I have finally launched something that's been in the works for quite a while and that is my color mixing guidebook and mini course. So to tell you a little bit about what this is, when you order this mini course from me, you get access to every single one of my mixing charts. Yes, I am not kidding, you get access to every single chart that I showed you in this video. I've used 16 different shades of gouache to create these mixing charts and these are colors that I've collected over the period of two, two and a half years. Also, the guidebook doesn't just have the mixing charts without any context. It's divided into three different sections with explainers for each and every section. Not just that, it comes with some video lessons as well which explains all these concepts to you in much more detail. It tells you how to understand your colors, how to understand how complex complementary colors work together, it tells you about warm and cool primary tones and basically every single thing you need to know for you to get started with color mixing as a beginner. It simplifies all of these concepts which initially seem so complex to you but then you realize that it's just a bit of logic that you need to apply to it for you to really understand which mixes are going to give you the colors that you're after. This mini course combines the wisdom that I've gained over three years of mixing my own colors. That's over 800 hours of painting. So you can imagine that the video lessons themselves are worth so much and they come with this PDF guidebook which has everything you need, not just to mix colors so that you don't have to create charts of your own, but also to understand which colors you can buy for yourself. Because I've created these charts using 16 different colors, when you want to go out and buy a new color, you can refer to these charts which I'm providing to you and decide which colors would be a good addition to your palette for your own art style. The link to this mini course is in the description below and I really hope you'll check it out because I'm sure you're going to find so much value in it. If you have any other questions around color, do drop a comment below. I would be happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.